In the previous episode Chao Min threatened to charge Jay Rim with attempted murder for throwing a shoe at his head. Jay Rim did not accept being accused like that because she accidentally dropped her shoe. Meanwhile Cha Min has no intention of returning Jay Rim's shoes, making things worse. Jay Rim taught him a lesson by giving an example of what an intentional action looks like by pushing Cha Min's body. Luckily Cha Min did not fall because Jay Rim held his body. Jay Rim modeled to Cha Min what it was like to act with good intentions by saving him. The incident really hit Cha Min's self-esteem. So he vented his frustration to Jay Rim during the interview session by refusing to accept her to work, arguing that only good people could work there. Meanwhile, Jay Rim did not just stay silent when humiliated by Cha Min, she attacked him verbally with unstoppable confidence. She curses Cha Min with various unkind prayers, one of which is a wish for Cha Min to be struck by lightning from top to bottom. Jay Rim recounted her unpleasant encounter with Cha Min when she was with her friend, she felt that Cha Min deserved to be struck by lightning. Jay Rim's words were enough to disturb Cha Min's peace, he left without taking off his umbrella for fear of being struck by lightning. Even when he was outside and there happened to be lightning, he still remembered Jay Rim's words and rushed into the room for fear of being struck by lightning. He is constantly reminded of Jay Rim, which makes him upset. Even when he is alone in his house, Jay Rim's figure in sexy clothes keeps appearing while teasing him. Chao Min tried not to think about Jay Rim by thinking of her as a stone. But Jay Rim's figure kept appearing endlessly so he felt like he was going crazy. It kept happening until he couldn't sleep. In the morning with a tired face, he still saw Jay Rim teasing him. It really made his mind uneasy. Xiao Min felt uneasy and felt that Jay Rim had done something wrong to him like hypnotizing him. He then contacted Jay Rim asking her to come to Chung Dam Heaven because she was accepted to work there, showing that he was getting curious about Jay Rim who always appeared in his mind. Although Jay Rim accepted the job, she still thinks of him as a perverted man who likes to be cursed at. Xiao Min tried to give his best outfit look when he was about to meet Jay Rim. But it doesn't go well because the belt he wears becomes the butt of Jay Rim's jokes because it looks like a celibacy belt and women don't like talking to men who wear it. So he takes the belt off immediately. Cha Min introduces Jay Rim to the other employees and does a small welcoming ceremony by playing games while mentioning their respective dreams. But Jay Rim accidentally mentions Cinderella, which means that her hidden and often thought of desires are revealed, and that will definitely cause trouble. Xiao Min thought Jay Rim was an attractive woman but it turns out to be the same as any other woman. It turns out that Jay Rim's predecessor had become Cinderella and left, so it was fatal when she said it. Xiao Min feels cheated by Jay Rim because she came not to work but to get married. Jay Rim kept asking Xiao Min for a promise that she would be hired on the first day. So that the deciding factor for her to be hired is by betting who can drink more. Before the actual match, the two had an arm wrestling match to show who was the strongest between them and of course Cha Min. Jay Rim accidentally sees Cha Min's damaged nails so the arm wrestling match is interrupted. Jay Rim looks worried about the condition of Cha Min's nail and thinks it must hurt. Jay Rim's words remind Cha Min with unpleasant memories about his nails. Meanwhile, Jay Rim won the match and became invincible when she finished a bottle of drink at once, as if everything around her was sucked in by Jay Rim. Cha Min can't keep up with Jay Rim, so he vomits. The victory brings good news, so Jay Rim manages to become an employee at Chung Dam Heaven and her employment contract is signed by Cha Min. The two get along so well with each other that Jay Rim doesn't hesitate to be honest about her motivation to be Cinderella-like in order to get out of her situation. Cha Min doesn't believe Jay Rim's abstract idealism about giving and receiving love. Jay Rim suspects he has never been in love and feels sorry for him. However, Cha Min doesn't really care because he loves himself so there is no need to date or get married. Even so, Jay Rim doubts whether he doesn't feel lonely or bored. Cha Min feels that's why he's with Jay Rim now. 
making speculations that Cha Min is already comfortable with J. Rim's existence which will grow the romance between the two in the future slowly. An unexpected drama occurs that causes cuteness between the two, namely when J. Rim can't help herself because she wants to pee while the toilet is not there. Although Cha Min tried to help her, J. Rim asked him to leave her alone. Cha Min couldn't leave J. Rim alone, he came back and did the unexpected by carrying her and running until he found the toilet. Even Cha Min is still waiting for her outside, J. Rim admires him for looking cool while carrying her even though the situation she is in is not cool and makes her very embarrassed when she approaches Cha Min. A woman in fancy clothes appeared and approached them while calling Cha Min honey. She is Ban Dan Ah, Cha Min's fiancé. She found him by using a tracking device because Cha Min could not be contacted. Ban Dan Ah's appearance makes J. Rim surprised and thinks Cha Min has lied to her because he said before that he doesn't want to date or get married, but now he is engaged. J. Rim wondered if he was working with a bad boss.